before I could go into my actual message, I have a short children's story. I can see a few children on the screen for the benefit of the children. I want to just give a small children's story. In South Africa, there is a famous zoo. When I say zoo, you can expect a lot of animals. There are a variety of animals. There are elephants, lions, tigers, dogs, giraffes, and there are everything, whatever you want to see, you can see that animals in the zoo. This zoo became so famous and popular because of one vital reason. The reason is there is an attractive simpanji in that uh, zoo. I'm sure most of you know what is simpanji. Are the, are the children aware what is chimpanji? Can I see some thumbs ups? If children knows what is chimpanji? Yes, I can see some thumbs ups. So the speciality of this chimpanji is whenever the visitors or the children, they go to visit this zoo, it performs so many activities. It greets the people, it dances, it salutes, it gives shake hand. When people, children go near, it will embrace by giving hug. So this is the specialty of this chimpanzee. So because of this special uh, animal in the zoo, it drew a lot of crowds and people, they used to flock. They have many visitations for this zoo just to see this chimpanzee. As the days went by and suddenly uh, there was a news on the newspaper saying the chimpanzee in particular zoo has died with the illness. It was a shock to the children who often go to visit this uh, uh, zoo. And the people, the in charge people and the administrators who are looking after the zoo, they were worried because they noticed there was not big crowd anymore at all. Children not coming at all to visit the zoo. And they decided their business was going down and down. They want their zoo to pick it up. So what they've done is they advertised in the newspaper and the TV channel saying that, look, this is what happened. We lost a lovely animal in the zoo. We are looking for a chimpanzee if anybody has. So you can just bring your chimpanzee and uh, also the person who has the chimpanzee who is going to bring to us, we're going to provide a decent job for him with a good salary. This is what the advertisement has gone. So they gave it time for approximately 30 days and there were no applications whatsoever because nobody has won any chimpanzee and nobody applied for the job. And lately, around 28th, 29th day, they got a letter. The man writes to the administrator of the zoo. He says, may I come for the interview? I do have chimpanzee with me. If you permit, I'm happy to come. So they are very happy. At least they got one applicant. So they invited for him uh, for the interview. So he went for the interview. He was there in front of the panel. They asked, where is the simpanji? Then he said, I'm sorry, sir. I don't have simpanji. But what I have is, I have an immense talent with me. Whatever the simpanji is to do, I can do beyond that. I can dance more than simpanji. I can do all the activities it has done. The only thing is I need a decent costumes. That was his requirement. Initially, they were a bit worried, but they were surprised with the talent and the way he explained to the people. And they said, it's fine. We'll give you the costumes ready. You can come after two days and you need to, uh, we'll have an odd, uh, auditions and we'll see your performance. If it is suiting, then we'll give you a job and you can be in our zoo as simpanji. So after 48 hours, he goes there for our auditions and the way he performed, they thought he's doing better than the simpanzi what they had. So they gave the job and the advertisement goes, all the newspaper and TV channels, we got a new simpanji, and this is the invitation for all the children, adults, whoever is to enjoy, please come and visit. 
So people started going into the zoo now. And as soon as they came near to the cage, they can see the simpanji, it dances. The simpanji, it gives shake hand. It will hug the people. And there is a joy with the children. Everybody are enjoying it. So as the days progressed, one day there was an advertisement went on. They said, we have an anniversary in the zoo. So this today, whole day, we'll see variety of programs the simpanji is going to uh, perform. So there is a huge crowd on that day on the anniversary. So when they went, they all gathered uh, throughout the cage to see the uh, simpanji skills and activities. They played the music. It is dancing and dancing. It became so hyper and uh, it was jumping vigorously. As it jumps, it suddenly falls in front of a lion next to the cage which is. And we have to imagine the scene. The lion, it is so ferocious, ferocious. It is staring at uh, this simpanji. But as simpanji fell down, it lost its cap, which is covering the head. And the lion uh, doesn't know anything. All it needs is the food on the tank. Then the simpanji, it's actually the man. He was saying, please leave me. I'm a human being. Please, I'm only acting here. That's what he's trying to say. And does the lion knows all these things? What he says? The lion came close by. And as it came, he was uh, feared with the death. He was shivering. And suddenly, you know what happened? The lion took off its uh, cap as well. And it told, I'm also a human being. Don't worry. This might be a simple illustration. What I want to say is, our father, Jesus Christ is coming onto this earth as king of Judah, as a lion. You know, at times our children at home, they are very playful. They will be in the caps when they come out. They try to be very uh, obedient. They try to be very faithful. But when you go and see in the home, we can see the real nature. They may not read the Bible on time. They wrote, don't pray. But what I want to admonish at this time is, children, please be watchful. Whatever you behave in the outside of the house, you need to behave same way in the home as well. You need to have Christ in your life. You need to pray. You need to watch. You need to read your Bibles so that when our Father Jesus Christ comes, you no need to get feared because he's coming as a lion. As parents, it's our duty to have prayer in our home. We need to dedicate our lives. We need to be example so that our children will follow our footsteps in honoring Jesus Christ. Thank you all.